I really want to talk about it because it affects everyone. A lot of people don't like talking about it. It sparks arguments, debates, op opposition. But in my opinion, opposition is good. I've never had strong political beliefs. I've always supported the people I believed in, but I never truly believed in them. I've been a liberal for the majority of my life, even though I didn't really agree with it, or agree with most of it. Today I've found more to digest about Pierre Poilievre and everything I've seen so far I cannot disagree with. We need way more people like him, who talks with normal people, tries to understand them, understand their pain, their discomfort, their misguidance, and he just is a people's person. And he made me realize why I I cannot stand liberals. I've always been about progress, trying new things, wanting change. But you always have to see both perspectives. And I've never actually been that involved in politics, but I can firmly say that I'm a conservative now. Everything I've heard of him so far is what I want what I believe is right. He doesn't use elaborate vo vocabulary because he wants everyone to be able to understand him, understand his values, his goals, and that's also what I want to do. I want to help people be understandable so that everyone can understand it. You know, I've thought about it today and I wanted to do some voiceover for a series I used to cherish when I was younger. It's only in French and I, I really enjoy this, this show. I just want to help people discover new things, have better lives, be happy. And that's what he wants. He sees the pain in today's generation, not understanding how it can even be possible to buy a house, to afford mortgages, to afford a car, gas prices. He just wants everyone to be able to live. He's not going against what people believe. He's actually following it. He's doing exactly, or he's saying exactly what people want to believe in. We're actually, or oh no. We're currently in a housing crisis and nothing is being done against it. Making new buildings, new houses, new real estate isn't in any of the current politicians' ideas. It's a necessity, but it's not beneficial. But it's beneficial for the people who live in the country. And had I not just clicked on that random video about a political argument argument I wouldn't have discovered him I wouldn't have this belief that he wants to do good but I, I'm not that well versed into it I'm just a regular guy who just stumbled on it and I've never been into politics that much I've just listened to what people have to say watch some articles in the news from time to time and just look for controversies when I'm done with that dopamine filled life I want to learn I want to be better tomorrow so that's why today since I've stumbled onto this I'm just not gonna indulge into worthless content I'm just gonna watch things that make me believe there is a brighter tomorrow because that's what I want to indulge into people. That there is light at the end of the tunnel. There are bad days. But every day should be a good day. You know, I just talked with my parents about it. And the moment I said his name, they just went, Ah, oh, not this guy. He's so controversial. 
just an anti-Trudeau. He's against abortion. But actually, he's not against abortion, so to speak. He's just pro-life and wants to limit it. So you have to be certain about your decision. Either you want the child or you don't. And it's not like you only have a week or two to decide. You have a month or two. And if throughout a month you can't figure if your financial situation can afford it, you have to look into yourself. You don't even try to acknowledge your own problems. And giving the benefit of having up to six months is pretty outrageous. How can you not figure it out in the first weeks of it? Are you making a sustainable income? Do you own something? Do you own value? Can you bring something to this child? And it's not even a, only about knowledge. Can you bring food for this person? Can you? If you can barely sustain yourself, then it's, it's not even a question. You cannot. And it's not like the housing crisis cannot be handled. It is not being handled. The prices just keep going up. People just keep being pushed away from the dream of owning a house. You know, my parents bought a house when they were 25. And I'm 22 and I, I, can't, I can't see that. In three years, that doesn't seem doable. If I just kept working my 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 job, you know, doing 40 hours a week, I had the rent to pay, food to pay, I wouldn't be able to afford it. If I just stayed at my parents for the next few years, I mean, of course I could, but that's not something everyone can afford, being able to live at your parents' house until 25. Realistically, most of my friends leave their house their parents household around 18 years old i'd say the average is about 20. you'd have to be very well suited have a good job being in a good place where things aren't that pricey being close to your job so so you don't make much spendings there's a lot of conditions to be attaining it and a lot of sacrifice you know inflation keeps going up gas prices keep plummeting and uh, no not plummeting but skyrocketing the opposite and you know we we keep importing oil natural gases when we have plenty of those and we just don't exploit it we have plenty of resources we just keep importing because we're too lazy to exploit them yes there is a lack of and power m manual labor power you know people but Fixing the housing crisis would make a lot of people want to come over here. It would fix the issue quite easily. Get two birds with one stone. You fix the housing crisis, create new job opportunities, people flock in and the economy skyrockets. People can afford good lives, be happy, have foreseeable goals. And that's what people who control the economy should do. They should try to bring up people. They shouldn't be controversial, doing some racist costumes that you can't even count, keep rising taxes, adding taxes onto whatever the fuck just cause you can, and investing money into things that only benefit you. When you are a leader of a country, you're not supposed to only benefiting yourself. You're supposed to benefit the people. And therefore, if the people have good lives, you've accomplished your job. It's kind of funny because today I, I was thinking about rulers. You know, to be a good king, you have to be a good ruler. It's not at, about having a firm grasp and imposing your rules. It's about listening to people, doing what the people need. That's what being a good king is. You know, I thought of it because uh, my coworker, you know, wrote that King of Orders and it just made me think, what kind of orders does a good king ma make? Are they good? Are they bad? But if he wants to do good decisions, he can't just be lucky at it. He has to listen to what the people need. 
can't just benefit from his legacy, his name. He has to make a name for himself. And it correlates perfectly with Trudeau versus Poilievre. Trudeau is purely benefiting from his father's name. He's not that knowledgeable, he's just good looking and has a name that holds weight. But is that way handled in a good way? Absolutely not. Trudeau has been one of the worst prime ministers Canada has ever seen. And Justin actually outshines the previous iteration. He's doing even worse. Who would have thought? You know, that made me think, you know, kings and being a good ruler made me think of Roger. You know, Gold Roger in One Piece. He's the king of the pirates. But is he a bad man? Luffy wants to be the pirate king. But is he a bad man? No, he makes decisions based on what the people need. When he went to Wano, people were in dire need of better health and food. So he overthrown the emperor and bring back peace to the country. He didn't do it to his own benefit. He did it because the people gave him food when they needed it more than he did. He felt so grateful for what they did that he had to do something for them. They gave, they gave him their most precious resource and he wasn't even thankful about it because he didn't know better. That's why you have to talk with people, learn to know them, understand their need. Because if you help them, they will help you. So tomorrow, make someone's day a little better. Even if just a bit. So maybe, at some point, you'll get it back. Tenfold. Maybe more. Who knows? Only God can tell.